Welcome students to the study guide for Neighbourhood Watch as an ORT for the prescribed text, The Simple Gift. Neighbourhood Watch by Lally Katz, released in 2011. Synopsis. The play follows the journey of two neighbours, Catherine, a young woman mourning the death of her boyfriend, and Anna, an old Hungarian woman stuck in the ways of war. As the unlikely friendship of the two characters grows, Catherine's life is transformed by Anna's stories of growing up in Hungary during World War II. The two characters aid each other to break down old and damaging attitudes and transition into another phase of their lives. This text is relevant to the Module C Text and Society unit Exploring Transitions as it explores the ways individuals' experiences can be challenging and transformative and lead to transitions into new attitudes and phases in life. The first character transition we're going to be looking at is the transition that Anna experiences. Anna transitions from growing up in Hungary during World War II to migrating to Australia where she has nothing and no one. Through the stories that Anna tells to Catherine, the composer is able to reveal the hardship she went through during the war and how challenging and transformative moving to a foreign country was for her. Language forms and features used to express Anna's transition. Magic realism and narration. In scene 10, when Anna tells Catherine about the time her father died in the war, Lally Katz utilises magic realism to create the illusion that Anna has travelled back into her past. In this flashback to Hungary, young Anna narrates what happened to her father. Going to work. Bomb coming. My daddy was blown to pieces in the street. This confronting narration reveals to the audience the hardships of Anna's past and the world she grew up in, while the magic realism of creating Anna's past allows the audience to visually experience her story and thus making it more meaningful to the audience. Through contrasting Hungary and war, and Australia and peace, the audience can see that Anna has had to transition into a new world and a completely different social context and environment. The second character transition we'll analyse is Catherine's. Catherine is in an emotional holding pattern after her boyfriend, Martin, committed suicide. After becoming friends with Anna and learning from her stories of the war, Catherine finally has the courage to move on from Martin. Near the end of the play, Catherine says goodbye to Martin, receiving the closure she needs to transition into a new phase of her life where she can move on from him. This experience with Martin is emotionally challenging for Catherine, but allows her to transform into a happier and freer person. Language forms and features used to express Catherine's transition. Magic realism and motif. Throughout the play, Martin rings Catherine's phone, which becomes a motif for her inability to let go of him. At the opening moment of the play, the stage directions read, Her mobile sits beside her. It begins to ring. She looks at it heartbroken, but she doesn't answer it. Also, near the end of the play, Lally Katz uses magic realism as Martin comes on stage. Here, Catherine receives closure as Martin tells her why he killed himself, and she says, We'll never see each other again. After this final goodbye, Catherine transitions into a new phase of her life where she can move on from the death of Martin and can be free from her emotional holding pattern. It is clear that the play Neighbourhood Watch employs many effective techniques and features and explores many elements of the Module C Unit Exploring Transitions rubric. The text's exploration of transitions and the clear connections to the module is why I believe that Neighbourhood Watch would be a highly suitable ORT for the prescribed text, The Simple Gift, and would allow you, the student, to expand your understanding of how individuals experience transitions into new worlds.